hello everyone and welcome to this new plexus tutorial so this tutorial will be about the, the tunnel excavation with a tbm tunnel boring machine and the settlement due to this tunnel excavation so before i start if you're interested in engineering subscribe to this youtube channel it will be a great help so let's start first of all what is a tbm it's a tunnel boring machine this is the head of the tbm it's through it rotates and eat the earth the ground in front of it and then the rest of the tbm will put the shield there will be a lining behind the head which will be formed of concrete it's uh, blocks of concrete that will create a tunnel so what's the problem with this type of excavation when we drill with the tunnel boring machine the lining is always a little bit uh, larger than the lining it's in order for the lining to fit so we excavate a little bit larger put the lining and then there's measure to fill back the lining but we cannot stop the stress redistribution in the ground so this is our main problem there's a TBM here a tunnel and there will be stress redistribution here which will cause the pile uh, to have a little bit of displacement and a little bit of uh, force distribution so we're gonna see the effect of the tunnel on the pile so this is a tutorial for uh, advanced people in plexus and not beginners if you're a beginner you can watch the rest of my tutorials so let's start on the input this is the input here the general settings then there's the stratigraphy minus 310 minus 12 minus 17 and minus 13 i'm gonna leave a copy of the pdf a link for the pdf in the description box so uh, these are the parameters for the soil materials we'll use an undrained behavior and then we'll define the structural element so let's see these are the soil stratigraphy we defined here a tunnel and then the pile so we've created a tunnel here you can see this tutorial this pdf step by step on how to create a tunnel then we put the lining and the building material properties we've created the lining here and then we've generated the mesh so let's go to the stage constructions first of all there's the building phase uh, we can see the plates here and the embedded beams the embedded beams represent the pile and this is the plate which represent the building then there's the tunnel first of all we've excavated the tunnel then there's the contraction in the soil there's the grouting and then there's the final lining so now we're gonna see the effect of uh, the excavation first of all I want to talk about something here okay so uh, we've drawn half a tunnel in order to save some calculation type, uh, time when we draw a complete tunnel it will be a waste of time uh, because of the symmetry we do not need more than half of the tunnel okay so let's see the results here are the results we can double plus on the tunnel you can see the moment in the tunnel and the effect this is the shear force this is the bending moment you can see the bending moment here and let's see also the, the displacement of the soil so we're gonna go to the formation the total displacement we can see uh, the redistribution of the soil here 
because it's on the upside of the tunnel here it's on the side and under the tunnel there's no redistribution of the soil and we can see the angle at which the soil redistribute so the pile that's uh, mostly affected is the one uh, above the tunnel it's uh, 5 meter away fr from the center of the tunnel 2.5 meter away and we can see there will be a differential displacement in the foundation of the building which can be dangerous so that's why we study this displacement on plexus before executing the tunnel so thanks for watching and if you uh, like the video subscribe to our youtube channel see you in next videos about plexus